Dave here at Russo's RV in Lakeville, Massachusetts. Today we're looking at a brand new GeoPro floor plan. In 2024, Rockwood came out with the 20FKS. That means front kitchen slide. This isn't the first Geo with a front kitchen. Technically, the 15TB has a front kitchen, though it's a very small one. But this is certainly by far the largest front kitchen in a Geo. This is like a true front kitchen with a lot of counter space. Before 2024, there was only one other Geo with a queen bed. That was a 19 FBS. Now this has a queen bed. It's a rear queen bed. So it's going to go east to west in a rear queen bed with a full bathroom and tons of kitchen space and the biggest slide room of any Geo. This is definitely the, the longest slide room. So all that being said, because it's the biggest slide room, this Geo actually comes in a little heavier than all the other ones. With the slide topper option, which I strongly recommend, if you watch these videos, you know we always get them, and a second solar panel. The first one is standard. The second 200 watt panel is an option, and we got that with this one. This unit came in at 4,013 pounds dry. It's 21 feet two inches, like the other 20 Geos, like the 20 BHS and the 20 FBS, but, um, it's gonna be a little bit heavier because of that big slide. Gross on this one, just under 5,000. You might as well say 5,000 pounds gross weight. So just keep that in mind. But with that larger slide, with that extra space, pretty awesome interior. So I hope you stick around to see the interior of this, this Geo, brand new for 2024. Always like to look around the unit first Front's gonna be the same as all the other Geos, automotive grain windshield and front power jack, two 20 pound bottles, room for two batteries, battery disconnect underneath the propane bottles. That's the switch for the docking lights, which is that light LED light strip right up front that's on right now. First storage compartment, it's pretty tiny, I will say, but you know, good, good on Rockwood for at least giving you something here. Uh, not a lot of room, but you can do something with this, I'm sure. Uh, small storage space. I already mentioned the the long slide room. That is a certainly much longer than any of the other Geo slides. This is the only Geo so far that's actually got two separate um, gray tanks. It's got a front galley tank because it's a front kitchen. It's got a separate tank for the gray water for the sink and then it has a gray for the bathroom and the shower and the sink in the bathroom and the black comes out here as well. Right next to that, you can see the fresh water drain. So just be aware this one does have two uh, exit points for the sewer, gray in the front, or I should say galley in the front, and then the main gray tank, black tank in the back. Hookups, you're gonna find all your hookups right over here in the, in the back corner. Water hookups right here, city water, antifreeze inlet for winterizing, 30 amp plug, comes separately in the camper, hooks up there, water heater, gas electric, six gallon, and your fresh water tank fill. That's the potable water right there. They have a really nice, this is your main storage compartment on this model. Really good area. Um, I would say, oh, probably at least three, three and a half feet deep, maybe closer to four and about just just about the same wide as it is deep that griddle is in the box table that goes next to the griddle as well 300 pound rated receiver for a bike carrier or for a rack get on the roof 250 pound rated ladder the mount for the backup camera if you decide to go that route instead of the outside shower in 2024 they switched to a spray port comes with a hose separately. I keep saying separately, but it's with the camper. It's a separate unit, but it comes with the camper. Uh, I don't want to make it sound like it's a separate thing you have to get. You don't. It comes with the camper. Black tank flush. Excellent, excellent. Always good to have that. Another unique feature on this one is it has this um, two burner cooktop. And the way it works is this part slides, this goes down, slides underneath here, and the whole thing slides in and then you can close the compartment after that. Behind there, there's an outlet and a little bit of space. So you could plug something in, 
could set it up next to the griddle or whatever you like there. Two slam latches. All the outside compartments have slam latches on the 2024s. Next to that, you can put your griddle in that table. So you can have the cooktop, the griddle, and then in the front of the camper, there's actually a 12 volt outside refrigerator. So I was looking at this earlier and I was like, that's awesome. I mean, it really is, it's fantastic. But one thing I noticed, and maybe this is something they're gonna address uh, in the near future, but there's nothing to hold this. Uh, I thought that was kind of funny. Uh, we may even like put our own magnet here or something. Like I feel like you could put a magnet there to hold it. I think that would make sense or something to hold this up because it's kind of a, a little bit uh, irritating to have to hold this up to get at the fridge. But I think that will be addressed eventually. Um, and I think there's probably solutions to that at the dealer level as well or, you know, aftermarket if you want to address that. But um, Rockwood, anybody from Rockwood watches this video, I would definitely recommend probably should uh, add some kind of latch there for that compartment door. All right, let's head inside. I would say there are two key aspects to the layout of this camper. The first is the most counter space you're gonna get in any of the Geo Pro floor plans, by far. You're gonna get lots of front kitchen counter space here. Goes right across, even comes in a little bit next to the stove there. Four outlets, well, I shouldn't say that. There's two outlets and there's two plugs in each outlet. But yes, then they both can drop down. So if you want even more counter space up there, you can drop those down. Those also double as phone chargers, those outlets. I like the front window, of course, and there is a shade there you can pull down. There's magnets that hold it in place. Window on the left of the kitchen opens and the window on the right opens as well. Just as in all the geos, there's a square large sink, stainless steel, three burner cooktop with the glass top over it, and the oven. And this is a large oven, larger than many that you'd find in RVs. Of course, bottle opener, always in all the geos, and a microwave. So when there's an oven in the unit, microwave, a regular microwave comes. If there's not an oven, then you're gonna have a convection microwave. In any case, um, you can request a convection microwave, and in most cases, they should uh, be willing to install a convection for an uh, extra few hundred dollars. 12 volt fridge with the glass black front. This is a 4.5 cubic foot refrigerator. That shelf, it's actually the shelf goes in the middle. Looking from the front towards the back, that large slide. So because it's that larger slide, they can fit the fridge there and the sofa. This is a jackknife sofa, so it can go flat. Can be another place to sleep. You just have to remove that, that table. And that table does swivel. It moves around. You can go sideways. You can go out. You can take the whole thing out if you want. But it's there uh, for you to use. And it's a bed. The sofa's a bed if you want that. Speaking of beds, another great thing about this model is the queen bed. Most of the other geos are smaller than queens, but if you do want that actual 60 by 80 queen, this model or the 19 FBS, those are the two that offer a queen. And there's this additional bunk on top as well. So put a kit up there. Also, you could use that as shelving if you'd like. You can take the mattress out and there's a little bit of a lip on the other uh i should say underneath it a little bit of a lip there so if you did want to use it for extra storage space you certainly can and i will say one thing about this unit that we did notice when we checked it in you know we'll go over the storage later but um there there's probably the only negative that we could find on this unit there isn't a ton of um storage space on the inside which is true for a lot of the geos but um there really, it lacks a uh, wardrobe compartment, a wardrobe cabinet so you can hang close. So you'd, you wanna have to find another solution to that. They give you a little bit more storage up top. Again, I'm talking about storage a lot, but we're gonna get to that in a second. Now let's look at the bathroom. So plenty of counter space, a little bit of extra space under the counter with that netting, medicine cabinet, and more there. 
All the Geos come with a Max Air fan with the cover. Actually, all of the Rockwood trailers come with a Max Air fan with a cover. This is a large shower. It's that um, rectangular shower with the shower miser and a porcelain toilet. So sitting at the at the sofa, you're right up against the television here. Uh, certainly, you, want, you wouldn't want to sit any closer than this. Um, this is perfectly fine, but you definitely would want to not sit any closer. You also can sit at the bed or lay down at the bed because it does swivel out. I just want to show you from the bed, you can have a good look at the TV because it does swivel towards, uh, towards the bed. I'm a fan of the windows around the bed in the back. That's a nice big window. Let a lot of light in during the day. You get the shade at night, but also it's an exit window that, that opens up uh, pretty far out. And then that window in the back opens and that one as well. So I like the windows in here, a lot of good natural light and in conjunction with a light interior makes for a nice bright living space. So when it comes to kitchen storage, it does a pretty good job. You got the above the kitchen counter that goes back a little about a foot, maybe a little bit more than a foot and goes all the way across. There's a compartment above the oven. It's pretty deep. And then three drawers and then a little bit under there, two levels and under the oven as well. They give you a nice big area. Above the sofa, there's three different doors, but it's all one space goes right across there. Under the bed, you have a drawer, so certainly put some clothes in there, fold them up. And there's that compartment, a little extra compartment above. But if it was me, honestly, if I wasn't using this bed, I'd probably use it for clothes. I'd probably get a tote, maybe a couple totes, use that for, for clothing. That would, that's just me. And above the toilet, there's that netting, a little bit of extra space, medicine cabinet. Uh, underneath the sink, that's not really storage. There's a, a little bit of um, a little bit of a panel there, so uh, no no real storage there, but a little compartment door. All right, let's bring the slide in. See what we got with the slide room in. This is kind of a close call. Usually, it's really obvious if you can get in the bathroom or not. In this case, the way this is, you can open this about as much as you can here. I am not. Uh, thin <laughs> and I could squeak by there. It was a little tight for me, but I could just squeak by there. So for some people, the bathroom will be accessible. For some people, it will be just a little bit too tight. So I'm going to say we're talking maybe a foot with the handle of clearance there. But to get to the bed is a lot easier. So if you did want to get to the bed, you can certainly get back pretty much anybody could get there and certainly the fridge is right here easy to get to so bathroom you probably you know you're probably gonna have to like go in one of these and test it out yourself it's really kind of a gray area I could just squeak in there certainly if someone's very thin they should not have a problem getting in uh, a little bit agile for someone who's a little bit older someone who's a little bit heavier uh, I think they're gonna maybe have some trouble getting there Keep that in mind on this floor plan, but um, I would certainly not say it's definitely a no for getting there uh, in the bathroom, but you definitely want to check it out for yourself. All right, so this is the 20 FKS is in stock at Russo's. Highlights of this unit, we got a full queen. I shouldn't say full queen, it's confusing. We have a 60 by 80 real queen mattress, a bunk above that, and you got additional sleeping at the sofa. So this could sleep four reasonably. And the key here, tons of kitchen counter space and outside kitchen, which is something you don't find in, in many geos. So you get the fridge, you get the cooktop, you get the uh, griddle on the outside. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.